Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So you looked at the title, you clicked on the video, you know what today is. We are unboxing our June boxy charm. So let's go ahead and play the intro. Okay guys, so if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, just a quick rundown. Basically what it is, is it's $21 a month. You get <clears throat> usually five, sometimes six, mostly full size items. Every once in a while you get a sample size. You'll see what we got sample size this month. And it's a pretty great deal, can't lie. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and dive in. This month is Caribbean Queen. You get your nice little booklet with all your products and all your information. So, the first thing I'm going to pull out, I'm looking rough, but first, we are going to look at something that has absolutely nothing to do <laughs> with my face. Uh, we actually got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, if you are a skincare person at all, or even if you've just looked at a Facebook group, you have probably seen this magical cream that everybody raves about. Now, we're about to see. Oh, okay, yeah, it smells like tropical goodness. And this is a small size tub of it. According to our sheet, this size is only worth $10. I don't know what a full size runs, but I hear incredible things. A friend of mine actually said today, that it has a little bit of shimmer but not any glitter and it does some momentary tightening of the skin. I think that makes sense. Uh, most people use it like if they have cellulite on their legs or something and they're about to go out in that bikini, they toss some of this on there first and apparently it is magical. I'm going to try it. Not that I'm going out in a bikini but maybe when I go out in my shorts. <laughs> so I'm going to try that and let y'all know uh, I have been wanting to try that forever but I think the full size is like really expensive and to me in my head it's just a lotion. I know it's not but that's what my head tells me. So we are going to try it and see how we feel. Okay so I'm going to go in a little bit different order than a lot of people have been going with this box because this eyeshadow palette we got, shout out to and Gabby, is gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and take my little plastic out of it so I can show y'all without this cover. This thing is beautiful. We are going to do some quick, and by quick I mean super quick, swatches. And then I have got an eye look in mine. I found some incredible inspo on Pinterest. There wasn't really anybody credited on it. But it was incredible and that's what we're going to try. So we're going to go ahead and do some swatches. We have La Costa. Can y'all even? Uh, it's so pretty. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's gorgeous. Then we have El Maliconia. My lighting is so off, you guys. I'm sorry. But we're going to roll with it. Then we have... Verdero. Y'all, I don't know how to say these words, but I'm giving it a good guess. I'll give you a close-up of these once they're all on here. We have Celia, which is a really pretty green. And then we have Coco Taxi. This is a matte. One swap is not doing it, so I'm going to build it up a little. Then we have Tropico. That one's nicer. Then we've got Guantanamera right here. And we've got Cafe Cito. So, so y'all can have a close up. These are the swatches I got. They are super pretty, pigmented. Mats don't swatch out great, but we've all had this big drama in the beauty community that you cannot judge a matte by its swatch. 
because sometimes that just doesn't work. Shimmers are always going to swatch better. Doesn't mean the mattes aren't going to perform well. I will say these shadows are difficult to get off the arm, <laughs> which I think is really a good thing. So no hate there. But what I want to do today is a quick little halo eye. We are going to speed through this. I'm going to show you the colors, speed through it, and keep going. So the first color I'm going to go in with, and guess it, is Coco Taxi right here. And I'm going to use this for a transition all over my crease and just build this up really nice smoke it out give myself a really rich orangey base to work with because that is exactly what I need for what I'm trying to do I'm not going to show you because it ain't going to turn out right <laughs> and I don't want comparisons around here we're just going to appreciate my work for what it is I will link my inspo down below if I can find it again that way I can give credit where credit's due, but I don't want no comparisons here. We're going to try and see what we can come up with, but I'm promising nothing because, you know, I'm a little challenged. Okay, so we blew this out in the crease, and now we go in with a Tropico right here, and we do the same thing. A little lower down same fluffy brush this is literally just a random off of Amazon nothing fancy and nothing expensive just a fluffy I think this is a natural hair brush I adore natural hair brushes because I feel like they pick up a lot more pigment than synthetic ones depending on the shadows but with matte shadows I highly prefer a natural hair brush or just whatever these white bristles are. Don't get me wrong, they may not be natural hair. I don't really know. But we're just going to blend this out, deepen it up. If you can't tell, we're getting a little bit of a sunset vibe going up here. You know, sunset vibes are my favorite. Okay. Alright, so that's deepened up. And now we take Guantanamera. Yeah, Guantanamera. All right here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so challenged with these words. But he's okay. <laughs> Still cute, even if I can't pronounce it. So we're just going to take this, deepen up a little bit lower down. Same drill, same brush. Okay, so we are deep, we are looking good. Now we take Cafecito. I'm gonna focus this in the outer and a little bit in the inner corner, just to deepen us up a tiny bit more. I promise I'm going somewhere with this. And I also think we are gonna manage to use every color in the palette by the time we get done. And I think that's a safe assumption. We're gonna use every color in the palette. <laughs> Because I really wanted to take this for a test drive. So I found an idea that was gorgeous and incorporated a little bit of everything. Okay, we are deepened up all the way. We are almost ready to go. But I gotta be sure that I know what I'm doing. Okay, think your life through. Okay. <clears throat> I think we got this, but I gotta find the brush that I need first. These will work. Okay, so what we are gonna do is cut a crease. There's my crease cutting brush. <sighs> And I'm doing this off camera because it's boring. Okay. okay, crease is cut. It's not very clean, but that's okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go into Veradero. 
This is the dark blue right here. I'm going to take it on a flat brush and I'm going to pack it into my outer and inner corners. Just right through here and this is packing on nicely. This is completely dry. I may wet it just to get some more intensity but it is packing on a very actually really nice dry. I might just leave it that way. Okay. Okay, it looks crazy. Bear with me. We're getting there. Now I'm gonna take Celia right here. This is our more green. And I'm gonna pack this on the rest of the eyelid. And I'm just gonna take it on, this is another flat brush and this is just because I'm packing on different shimmers. Normally I wouldn't use this many brushes. But to do what I need to, that's what we got to do. So we're just going to pack this on the rest of the eye, pretty heavy and a little bit overlapping with the blue to get the effect that I need from this. And when we use this in the future, we will be wetting it. But y'all know how I feel about helping products perform on a first impression. I like to see what they're capable of when I don't give them any help. So far, this is capable of a lot and I'm very proud. Okay, <laughs> now we are going to go into El Malecon right here. And I'm just going to halo this right over the very center of the lid with a very small packing brush as to not go too crazy. And it's just going to go right in the middle. And this is going to give me a super intense spotlight just right here. Mm. Okay, and now to use, well, hold on, <clears throat> hold that thought. <laughs> we have one more color to use. We are going to blend the edge of this just a little bit, just so it's not too harsh or choppy. And we have one more color to use, but we are going to come back to that color after we visited a few more products, but so far I am living for this look. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and take these out. We've got a three brush set from Lexi, which is one of my favorite kinds of brushes. Now it has got a foundation brush in here that I just about now I won't like. Uh, this set does retail for $42, by the way, which is not that bad for three. <clears throat> so we are going to try to actually use the brushes that are included in here. Starting with this 660 foundation brush. I've already got primer on. Did that earlier. I'm going to take some Fenty because I think it goes on easier with a brush because it is a thinner foundation. And just go ahead and put that on. Yes, I know this is the wrong shade. Your girl stood in the sun for 10 minutes and now I have a color. So everything is the wrong shade now. I just ordered new foundation today. I bet you can't guess from where. You'll see Friday, maybe next Friday, probably next Friday. But we are just going to try and use this brush. And no, it's not really working, but it'll be all right because we will fix this with concealer. I'm not liking 
this brush for foundation at all but but I am very spoiled I finally got a Y6 and I'm in love with it just like Laura Lee said I would be and now it's like no foundation brush can compare except the one I have that's almost identical to my Y6 from this random unknown brand that surprisingly has super good brushes uh, I will mention them later on in another video where I simply review their brushes but that's another day but yeah I just prefer if I'm gonna use a brush I need a flat top kabuki but like look how bad this color is you guys I'm just making myself pale at this point like I hate <laughs> this is ridiculous this is kind of hilarious actually I feel like I could scare some people okay so we are gonna have to turn our exposure down a bit or maybe just our lights until I bronze this face up because this is bad so we're dimming us down yeah it's a little bit better on the bright side you can see this makeup super good ah okay whoop focusing okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of concealer get that all in place and then come back to use another brush in a second. All right, so next we have got our whoop, Duo Fiber Powder Brush. So we're just gonna dip it in here. Looks like it's misshaped a little bit on the way to me. And set our under eyes, if it will. I don't like using a brush for setting the under eyes really I prefer to use a brush just for dusting over the rest of my face so when I do this it gets really messy and sometimes it ends up in my eyes which contact wearers stand up with me here and that is not good and it does not feel good nope yesterday I got powder day before no it was yesterday I got powder all over me Trying to touch my makeup up a little bit so I could go somewhere. I guess to the store. I don't know. Trying to go somewhere. I had on a black shirt. And I did not realize until I was all but to the store that I had powder all over me. And I feel like I looked like a drug addict. And I just wanted to walk in and be like, I don't do anything. This is makeup. <laughs> Not that anybody would have believed me, but it was makeup. Okay, stopping now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I don't let my eyes bake too long and just wipe that off. And we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes because before I get into anything else, I wanna be sure that is done. And I'm just gonna go into Tropico, which was our orangey right here and get that on this lower lash line looking nice and then I'm gonna take the last color on this brush <laughs> and that is La Costa right here it's a pretty pink color it's not focusing but I promise it's pretty and I'm going to pack that on here and pack it in my inner corner. And that is gorgeous. I love it. This is one of my favorite shades of eyeshadow. I may have another one like this to show you. Mm, this weekend maybe. I'm going to take a little bit of 
Quanta Numera. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please don't hate me, anybody, if I'm not. And just run that right here to define that lower lash line even more. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. This is the eye look, guys. I mean, we still got to get some, some more things on here, but I'm in love. I didn't think I could pull this off, but I think I pulled it off a little bit. I'm very proud of my life, and <laughs> it's almost time for bed. Look at how that works. Okay, we do good makeup. We take it off, we go to sleep. We don't even show it to anybody. You cannot share the good makeup with people who do not deserve it anyway. I'm also going to take my BH pencil here and go ahead and do my uh, brows real quick. Y'all want to watch that? That sucks. I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I finished up a little more stuff off camera. Uh, the last brush we have got is this tapered highlighting brush. And we are going to take our little dollar highlighter because even if it's a dollar, it's incredible. And we are going to pop a little highlight on this face. I'm not a big fan of these kind of highlighting brushes. I don't know. I just don't feel like they give me the payoff that I want because they're too like, they're not dense enough. Not like a super dense highlighting brush, but uh, better than this. A little smaller so that I can be more precise with what I'm doing. Okay, we're done. We are gonna move on. And yes, I just made that into the trash can all the way across the beauty room. <laughs> Anyways. We're going to move on to this Jante Blue. This is a eyeliner pencil in dark brown. Which, let's be real, I'm not excited about. Y'all know I live, live for black liner. But today we get brown. So today we use brown in the waterline. I'm going to warm it up on my hand a little first. And this is not the best liner in the world, but it could be worse. Could always, always be worse. But I don't feel as though I would ever, ever buy one of these. Now, this is like the second or third time we've gotten a Jante Blue liner. Um, I've never gotten the same color twice. I think my last one was a black liner and I did use it. And like this, I'll set it in my eyeliner cup. Don't know how much I'll use it since it is brown, but surely at least a little bit. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. We got an Ofra Lippy in Verona. Color is gorgeous. Apparently it is flattering on everybody. I'm the palest of the pale, so we shall check that. I do like Ofra Lippies. We will be getting a wear test on Ofra Lippy soon. I just haven't got to it yet, but I'll get there. But we're going to put this one on, see how it looks on paleness. Okay, so I will say, I think I can rock this color. I think it's pretty. It's kind of brownish with a little bit of an orange tint, but still a little bit of a red. I don't really know what it is, but it's pretty. And I like it. Oh, for lippies, by the way, cost $21, which is why <laughs> the three that I own, I got in subscription boxes because... I don't pay $21 for a lipstick. But they're really pretty and the formula is incredible. 
So here we are to our last item. This one is a whopping $28. We have got these Baddington Lashes in Monroe. Now, <clears throat> before I can put them on, I'm going to put a thin line of black eyeliner. This look is supposed to have a wing, but I really like it without one, so I'm just going to put a thin line to cover my lash band and a little bit of mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes, and then I will come put them on, or I may put them on and just show them to you, because this is a long process, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll be right back once I have these lashes on and give you my final thoughts on the box. Okay guys, so these are the lashes. They are super pretty. I think they complement this eye look pretty well, if I say so myself. Y'all, I'm so proud of this little eyeshadow. I can't. It came out perfect for me. <laughs> but anyways, okay, time to go through our box. This little baby here smells incredible. I will let you know how I feel very, very soon, I promise, because I'm going to get on that this weekend. <clears throat> then we have got the Reina del Caribe Volume 1. Oh, yeah. And it's so cute. Like, look at this, this packaging. And you could make so many looks just using, like, a couple of these and a shimmer. I just decided I wanted to use every color in the palette because screw it, why not? But it's gorgeous, y'all. I love it. And then we've got our, I don't even know where it's at. The eyeliner I'm not excited about. However, I will say it is always a lower ticket item. That eyeliner retails only $5. For a five dollar eyeliner, it's it's not that bad. It could be worse, I guess. The brushes, um, I like the powder brush fine for wiping off my bake. You can do that with any brush though. Not a huge fan of these. I'll try this one with a different highlighter. I mean, it got the job done. It just didn't wow me, you know. But it's all right but I wouldn't pay that much for them because they're just not not really my kind of brushes, you know? And then we've got our Lippy, which I actually really like on me, but I do like brown Lippies in the first place, so that's not super shocking, but I do really like this. Ofra has a great formula, really pretty. Yay! Would never pay $21, but great for the box. <sighs> And then I guess the only thing left is our eyelashes, which I do like. These are a very nice style. They're not too dramatic, not too natural. I like them. I think they're really pretty. I think they're highly overpriced. I think you can get some really nice wispies at Walmart or Sally's or Ulta that are way cheaper and equally as pretty. Just my personal opinion. But it's still really pretty. I mean, you know, no hate on it. It's nice. But yeah, that's the box. Um, it was pretty much all hits except, you know, the eyeliner. Brushes are alright. They'll be fine. Eyeliner's cheap anyways, so. Some cheap makeup is incredible. And then there's some like this that just, it doesn't, it doesn't perform that well. And that's just, you know, whoever makes it not really taking the time to get those quality ingredients that'll help it perform super well. But it's okay. It's not that terrible. I can live with it in the waterline every once in a while. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, this box was overall a super good value. Really nice box. I got a super cute look out of this and I'm just like, I'm about to go take pictures galore and tag Gabby and all of them and hope to goodness that she shares my look because I want her to see this because I love this palette. This is so nice. I was just honestly excited to get this because I saw Gabby had a makeup line and honestly even had it not come in boxy there's a pretty good chance I would have ordered it anyways but the fact that she got it in the box and I think that's 
you know, due to her connection with that subscription is amazing because I love that all of us got this palette because it's super nice. And yeah, I like it. Definitely be reaching for that a lot lately because those are wonderful summery colors. But yeah, that is it <laughs> for this boxy charm. I was overall super happy with this month. And yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I have some incredible stuff coming up for you. I've got all kinds of new goodies in the mail. And, and I know I teased my collab, but my collab is in the mail too. So my palette is finally out up for purchase there's not a whole lot left it is limited edition link will be down below so if you made it this far in the video you can go order my palette and it's gorgeous I promise because I designed it Duh. <laughs> but yeah that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days bye you guys